Hey there, Internet people. Jeff here with Practically Tactical, and I'm here with Austin of Griffin Armament. And we're going to talk about some of their new product line for 2016. Thanks a lot for coming on, Austin. Thanks, Jeff, uh, for having us. I, I've got here a Griffin uh, Mark I carbine. Uh, these come standard with our uh, uh, hammer comp muzzle devices. It goes right on the way, too. I'm showing you uh, an SBR 11 and a half right here. Uh, most of the components are going to be available in the subcomponent market. Uh, these feature our low pro rigid rails with their 174 flush cup swivels uh, screwed into the barrel nut. They have our four piece rail shield uh, panel kit. You're you're looking at our uh, optional uh, panel where there's a flat panel. Also, the the gas block is 416 uh, and it's pinned in nitride. And our our uh, Barrels are our 1MOA 416R uh, 223 wild barrels. Mm. We've got uh, this this on a Griffin lower. It's got our uh, oversized dimple takedown pins. It has our uh, ARSOB uh, buffer inside the uh, maritime res receiver extension. It has what, is a, that, what does that do? A Nibor uh, trigger kit as well. Uh, the uh, the ECS stock here is riding on our MRE receiver extension, and uh, that has drainage features that can get uh, water and carbon falling out of the gun without uh, damaging the rifle. Oh, interesting. And uh, this has our selector kit, our modular uh, AMI selector kit, as well as our ambidextrous SNACH charging handle. We've got a mil spec pinned uh, forward assist on the rifle, our enhanced BCG and uh, our A3 grip. So the gun is pretty much a full proprietary. Uh, it's a real nice rifle, about 1750 MSRP, and these have uh, uh, decent uh, margin, so dealers can make some money on our, on our rifles, and hopefully that'll get them on the market and at your local gun shop. That's a pretty slick setup. The, the furniture, as you can see, it comes in uh, gray, FDE, olive drab, and, and black. Um, new for the year also is the, uh, the Alpha sound suppressor. Uh, this is a ratchet locking front cap, user serviceable, 300 wind mag rated uh, suppressor. It takes the uh, lineage from the Recce 7. It's a very high performance, multi caliber, market leading suppressor that has five baffles that are 6AL 4 feet titanium. It has a 74 blast baffle and uh, 74 billet main body. It's 14 and a half ounces, and uh, that makes it a really uh, competitive offering for the uh, multi-cal class. Taking a look at our, our other new suppressor products, we've got the uh, Optimus suppressor series here. Uh, this comes standard in the box with the uh, components required to have the uh, the pistol configuration that's nine millimeter, as well as the uh, full-size taper mount configuration, uh, which is a 300 wind mag. Uh, rated rifle suppressor. You can buy optional uh, interfacing attachments to uh, put together the uh, the A2 interface uh, configuration as well as the uh, three lug uh, submachine gun up to 14 and a half inch 5.56 rated uh, version. The uh, minimalist brake shield allows this to be configured in the midsize. 16 ounces, 7.9 inches long, 308 rated. And uh, the cool thing about the product is that uh, it's user serviceable and configurable, and it's uh, offering flagship performance in a lot of these configurations. You got uh, 126 decibel, 300 blackout with a full size, for example, uh, 137 decibel, 308 performance. And uh, it's just unlike any other suppressor product. Uh, it's historically been available because you can have uh, one caliber and you can shoot it in four different configurations with different sound performance and weight specifications and length specifications. Um, new for the year also is the Resistance series. Unlike our uh, our Revolution series, which brought mo modularity to the pistol silencer market, the uh, the Resistance uh, nine millimeter and forty five suppressors are going to uh, to drop the modularity, uh, allowing the end user to have a high quality 
uh, suppressor that's market leading in performance for uh, in a, a more affordable price. And so uh, these are coming in a hundred bucks uh, less expensive than our uh, Revolution series. And uh, we're showing the, the nine millimeter on a, on a Sten gun in keeping with the resistance theme. Uh, the 1918-1911 mounting the uh, resistance 45. Very nice. Can I see the, uh, sure. the 1911 real quick? And so you can now change the caliber with different inserts? Is that kind of where you're getting it? Uh, these do have, I mean, they can they can utilize the uh, Re Revolution uh, muzzle brake uh, baffle or, or uh, front apertures inserts as uh, so you can put the 9 mil insert into the 45 suppressor. I just got that bag on the floor. <laughs> like, ooh, a button, let's push it. Yeah, so you can change caps. Uh, there's a 22 cap for the cans. Uh, that's awesome. So that's a great feature. Yeah, 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 it's not bad. Okay, so any last thoughts about the product line? Well, uh, there was there was one more product. I mean, a lot of things have been happening this year at a blinding pace. The, the Checkmate, our QD rimfire suppressor, uh, which has been popular for and in the line is historically for the length of the company here. Got an upgrade. We've got a, a one-piece uh, baffle, and and this is the quietest uh, core we've ever had. This this can is uh, is now doing a 112 on a rifle and 114 on a pistol. It's got market-leading sound performance. It's easy to take apart, and it comes with a baffle pusher tool, and uh, it's just a great product. Cool. But I appreciate you taking well, the time to so much, talk Austin. to us and take a look at our products. Definitely. And you I, can check out more information at griffinarmament.com. And uh, if you like this video, go ahead and go below, like it, subscribe to the channel, and check out our other 2016 SHOT Show reviews. Yeah, thanks, Jeff. Appreciate, appreciate it, man. It. Thank, yeah, you. thank you.